Good evening, all you art and coloring addicts. Thank you for choosing to tune in to Angie's Art Addicts YouTube channel. My name is Angie, and yes, I'm an ad. So, I am sitting here at probably about 10 o'clock at night, uh, U.S. Uh, Midwest time, and I have had a big package from an international shipping since about noon or one o'clock, and I've had to wait till everyone in my home is asleep, and I knew no one was going to get back up and interrupt. <laughs> and I'm sure by looking at what you see in front of me right now on the screen, you can probably have somewhat of an idea what I am fixing to do an unboxing of. Or you've read the title. <laughs> so, these are brand new. I got these today also, as well as a few other items. And I have this beautiful, huge bag here. And there's the DHL shipping there which is international coming from Japan now this package was not supposed to be here until earliest possible it said Friday which is today's Tuesday <laughs> um, and as late as the 24th so I was very very happy when I all of a sudden found out that somehow they managed to take it from Japan to little old small town Missouri and uh, let's see here they sent it out Monday morning and I got it at noon Tuesday so I don't know what kind of angels or magic happened there but I was very very happy and I have been blessed <laughs> by a uh, friend of mine who actually purchased these for me as well as one other set that I will be getting tomorrow and doing an unboxing of. And I am fixing to unveil the Holy Grail. <laughs> Let's see here. Oh, so wrapped, so good. I'm so sorry for the sound. Yeah, let's remove this. And just set that there so we can look at it for just a second. This is what I was so excited about today, and I'm sure that uh, most of you watching would be as well. Those are the colors from the top. This is the 72 set B of the Copic Chow markers, and I chose this set instead of the A set. This is my first set um, because I actually purchased these online a couple months ago and I've never used them. I uh, used two of those one time and I felt super intimidated and felt like I didn't have what I needed to even try so I just said I would put them away until I got more. So I um, have the six Copic skin tone colors and these would have been repeats in the A so I uh, did a little bit of research and found out that if I got these along with the 24 set of basics, then um, I would have like 101 or 102 of no repeat colors. And so I'm super duper excited. I'm going to go ahead and open these. I also had received in the mail today the Express Blending cards, which is like a marker paper pretty much, uh, specifically made either by Copics or for Copics. It's definitely made to use with Copics. And because I have little to no alcohol marker experience, I wanted to make sure I had the best paper possible. And... plastic case here. As you can see, all the numbers are listed on the top. It's very good hard plastic. And there's the two plastic dividers on there that you can put on there before you put it back in. And my 72 beautiful markers. Now, I'm a little concerned about something. I think I see something. Is that a repeat? 
it? I sure do. I see one already. Maybe I have mistaken. No, I think that's the only one I see. Anyways, I'll deal with that another time. <laughs> Sorry about that. So, um, that is that. So, let's take a couple of these out and look at these. So, on the Copic Chow markers, uh, they have the medium, broad, uh, chisel tip, and the super brush on this side. And the difference from what I have read and understand between these and like the Copic Sketch is that these are a tad bit smaller um, and they are round. Another difference is that they do not have the name and number on the ends here. So for myself, I am not a marker user at all. Um, I only have these because I was blessed to be given them. Um, so I really didn't feel like I needed to invest in the biggest, you know, best markers, you know, 100% that there were, or not invest, but you know, choose. Um, so these are both, uh, you know, these and the sketch are both refillable with um, replaceable nibs. So that's not a problem. Um, this does have the exact same nibs uh, as the uh, sketch one does. And so we will check that out. This is the chisel tip, medium broad chisel tip, and that's the super brush. And I'm going to give them a try here on a couple of the little things I have had printed up just for this occasion. So I'm going to set these to the side real quick. I'm only going to do two or three, and then I'm going to go through the book and then have a little playtime with these off camera, and then I will do a review on them. So here we have B93, and I'm going to look here on this hex chart uh, for B93. I probably should have had this done. Let's see. It's B17. I have absolutely no idea. Let me see. B91. B97, B93. Where's it at? I'm so sorry. And I thought I was good at crossword puzzles or word searches. <laughs> there's B97. B91. Oh, there's B93. Okay. So let's do the super brush here. I'm going to move these spoons so it's out of my light there. And I apologize for any glare. And that's kind of like a grayish um, off-white. It's called Light Cockery Blue. And put that one back there. Now let's grab... Where did I take that from? Okay, I see over here. All right, let's take uh, one of my favorite colors. This kind of looks like a coral. This might be more of one though. Yeah, it's like a light prawn is what it says. So this is going to be R22. And I think it's R's up here, R32, R22. All right, so this is light prawn. And I'm gonna use the chisel side this time, right there. Let me get out of the lighting here, maybe. I don't think that worked, but. All right. I might have this blown up at Staples or something into a bigger one. Those are just so small for me. Um, so I have that one to fill out um, off camera. And then I have the Copic color wheel. Um, and from what I understand, I really don't understand. I'm not even going to lie. I know that this is the, both of those are the 358. And the Copic Chow only has, oh, what do I want to say? 100 and higher hunter number. I don't know really what it is exactly. Um, 
And so, 180 something, I believe, is what it said. Anyways, so that is another downfall of, if you want to consider it that. I think 358 colors is way too many damn markers to try and achieve or really even need. Um, but a couple hundred sounds about right. Sounds good. <laughs> so, anyways, um, that is what I'll be doing off camera. And I'm going to take and put these beautiful babies back together and I will be receiving tomorrow sometime the 24 basic set which I will also do an unboxing and then a review of both probably together and then I will be doing also a comparison video I have a lot of people who told me and who I um, had YouTube videos of that the other markers that I have which are the pro markers and the brush markers by Winsor & Newton that they have better ink than the Copics and they are better than the Copics in a lot of ways if not always I don't know that because I had not had the experience of using them um, so I will be checking it out for myself um, and so with these, this is the Express Blending card. Now the paper that I had had the two Copic sheets printed out on was the um, oh I just lost total thought right now. Um, it starts with the B. Oh my gosh. Bristol. Bristol Smooth. I'm so sorry. It's a late night now. So this is the Express It Blending 8.5x5, uh, 250 GSM, uh, acid free and archival, ultra smooth, bright white surface, laser and inkjet compatible, perfect for marker blending and illustration, idea for stamping and card making, high surface saturation and non-piling, or no, non-peeling. So it is very, it's almost like a... It's like a picture paper, but not shiny. It's almost like what it is in comparison to like the Bristol Smooth. That's this was not a very good copy, so let me see. It's just not even comparable. And that's kind of what I had read that while Bristol Smooth is a very idea type of paper to use markers on, that there's no comparison when it comes to this. So um I think the best deal I was able to find um, on a large pack, which this is only a 25 pack, and I think it was $14. But $14 for 25 papers is pretty expensive, I think. Um, especially when you don't know how to use them and you're going to be using it to practice. <laughs> uh, but I think I found something that was like 150 pages for $40. So I don't know. If I like it, I will probably go do that. So I went to Hobby Lobby today and I did buy this myself. Um, obviously with the 40% off coupon, so it wasn't $9.99. And I do a lot of, or have a lot, should I say. I don't color a lot, but I would like to. I have a lot of PDFs and stuff that I've purchased in different coloring books with hair and faces and so forth. So I went and got this book. And I wanted to use it, you know, as a guide, obviously, to kind of teach me how to and kind of go from there and learn. So I will be doing... Um, a review of this book. I'm just kind of flipping through, showing kind of how it's laid out, I guess. Um, I read a lot of reviews, and a lot of them said that it was very helpful to a lot of people, that it kind of broke it down to where it wasn't just watching a video. It is in English and Spanish, it looks like. Then there's practice stuff in the back, which I will obviously probably make copies of. It almost feels like this paper is made on, uh, I bet it is. It feels like this paper is made on the Express Blended paper. I think that it is. I'll, I'll get back to you and let you know on that for sure. I didn't check on that beforehand. But that is what I will be doing along with the two... Cards I also purchased today from um, Hobby Lobby. Two decent, decent, not good, but decent um, watercolor brushes. A round number four and a round number two. Um, and I also got a 
second smaller, more portable hot light. Now, the first one that I have is a two-in-one. This is an hot light magnifying, and I'm going to turn this off real quick. And it has the, I think there's like 30 or 40 on there, um, LED lights, the bright lights. And you can move that from a desk lamp or to a floor lamp. But it has a really hard time, or I have a really hard time, you know, getting it in the right angle for trying to color and magnify stuff. And I am not very confident in my coloring and staying inside the line, so it really helps to be able to have that. And then today when I was shopping, I was looking for, you know, sales and discounts, and I found um, this. And it is originally $24.99, and I got it for $12.02. So, it is the exact same size as this magnifying glass, as you can see. Exact same magnification. Actually, I think it might be a little bit more. I think that one's 1 1.75 and this one's 2x. I don't, don't quote me on that, but uh, this one does have a little um, LED light. Super cheesy. Um, but this comes with two different options. You can either use a screw that's in it and use this as a clip which, you know, would be like this right here. And then, you know, be able to work like that. Obviously, it's probably not going to stay very good on that. But, um, or you can take this right here off. Super easy to do. Just spin it off. And then there's a screw inside one, this bag right here. And I had this attached earlier, but that screw's like that. And then you can have it like that. But... As you can see, I have a pretty small and pretty full desk, so I did not need all this extra room. So I, uh, you know, planned on just keeping it on the clip for now. And it is super easy to just take apart and redo. So, or, you know, change up, not redo. But so I thought that this was a really good deal for 12 bucks that I couldn't pass up. I had been, you know, spending some time online looking at different magnifying glasses that I felt comfortable with that were going to be a good deal and not totally, you know, crap. <laughs> but it is really, really helpful when you are coloring and have that to magnify as you're coloring. It's really hard to go wrong. At least, you know, you can see really well. So anyways, I'm going to close this for now and enjoy my markers for a little while and Thank you so much for checking this out and tuning in. And I will be back with you tomorrow or the next day with some reviews. Have a blessed and wonderful day.